Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today, we're going to talk about the Extension Manager. So in a previous video, we talked about the Extension Warehouse, which is SketchUp's online repository for third-party uh, extensions, third-party software that runs inside of SketchUp. We talked about finding the extension you need and how to look around at that kind of thing. What we didn't talk about is what happens once you install it, or if you download an extension, how do you get installed, that sort of thing. And that's what we're going to check out right now. Let's go. All right, so we already talked about the extension warehouse uh, button, but uh, there is another one which is extension manager so it's different it has it has a little the x from extensions but it also has a little gear next to it if we click on that it'll bring up the extension manager so the first screen that comes up here is the home screen for extension manager and it's going to give you a list of all the extensions you have installed so even if you haven't installed any extensions yet you may see a couple in here just on a brand new install because sketchup does ship with a couple of what we call native extensions these are extensions that are built by the development team and uh, actually created using the same method that third-party developers use to create extensions. Um, so if I look at this screen, I'm just gonna run through this real quick. Up at the upper right corner, I do have my login information is what I'm logged in as. A little gear here that's gonna bring up uh, an option here for loading policy. Uh, there are some options in here for setting the, how strict of a, how strict you want to be on what extensions can be installed. Um, generally speaking, I run unrestricted because I not a lot of extensions aren't signed, they aren't aren't uh, verified, that sort of thing. Doesn't mean they're harmful. It just means it hasn't gone through the process of getting verified. So generally speaking, since I only download extensions from places I know and trust, I leave this on unrestricted. Um, below that, the bulk of the screen is, of course, made up with, like I said, the list. So if we look at a couple of these in here, um, you can see that most of the extensions I have here are enabled right now. I have an extension name, who the author is, and this little arrow. Uh, as I scroll down here, um, if I wanted to turn off an extension, I would just click to make it disabled. Um, I do have to apply changes. Depending on the extension and depending on how the data for the extension is loaded, you may have to restart SketchUp to enable or disable an extension. Just, just so you know, something to be aware of. If I look at one of these extensions and drop a little arrow down, it's going to tell me a little bit of information about that extension. If it's signed, uh, who the author is, um, description, that sort of thing. So this is the information about, oh, and the version, that's very important, uh, what version the extension is. Because sometimes new versions of extensions will support different versions of SketchUp, and sometimes they have new functionality. And you'll know what version you're running by looking right here under this little down arrow. That's the main information that's in this, this view right here. Um, we're gonna come back and uh, apply changes again. I would hit that if I wanted to apply disabling. But before I do that, I wanna hop over here and mention manage. So in manage, I have the tools to actually some of the same information, extension author, but I have the ability to uninstall and update on this tab. Um, you can see right here, sub D has an update. So there's a newer version available than what I actually have installed. To install the update, all I have to do is click on update, and then that will download the new version and install it for me. See that? Oop, successfully updated. All right. The other option I have here, of course, is uninstall. Clicking uninstall will remove the extension from SketchUp altogether. Very different from actually coming here and just disabling it. Uninstall means it's gonna actually pull the file out, throw it away. Uh, this, is, this is a permanent thing. If I wanna get an extension back after I uninstall it, I do have to re-download it and, or potentially re-download it and install it again. So that's permanent measures over here, temporary measures. Now, um, one other button down here is install extension. So one of the things we talked about when we looked at the extension warehouse was finding extensions and clicking install and having it just automatically install for you, which is great. That's an awesome way to do it. Uh, there are situations where maybe you explored extension warehouse, found an extension and downloaded it. Maybe you got something from the plugin store at uh, Sketchucation. If that happens, then you have a file with the extension RBZ somewhere on your computer. You can manually install that file by clicking Install Extension, finding that RBZ file. Like I said, it's going to look for these files, RBZ, which is what an extension comes in as. Click Open, and with that, 
it will go through the steps to install that extension. It's it's really that simple. So that was Teapot. Look, I got it right here. Teapot is now installed and runs just like all the other extensions. Like I said, if you do download from Extension Warehouse inside of SketchUp, you don't have to download and install. There's a direct install option. But if you get extensions anywhere else, you will have to manually come in and install that extension. That's about it for Extension Manager. It is a pretty simple tool to use. I mean, it's, it's a lot of people get worried about installing extensions and think it's going to be harder than it is. It really is a pretty simple process. Um, it's not hard to do. It's really pretty quick, pretty easy. A couple of clicks and you can get an extension installed. Using it, of course, that's potentially more work, but that's, you know, that's on the extension. We can't cover all that in this video. Um, but hopefully if you've ever had any questions about how to install extension or what to do with them once they're installed, this video answered it for you. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment. Let us know what you think of these Square One videos and if there's a topic you think we should cover. We like making these videos a lot, but we like it even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.